Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and on Sunday, April 4th, 2021, I reached 1,000 subscribers. So I want to thank everyone who helped me reach this goal by watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much, and I hope to reach my next goal of 1,500 subscribers by the end of this year. So in this 1,000 plus subscribers edition, I am going to review the Eton Elite Mini Compact AM FM Shortwave Radio. I bought this at Target through their website. They don't sell it in stores uh, for $23.27 plus tax after using a $5 5% discount when I used the Target Red Card. Hence, I figured why not give this radio a try especially since this is under $25. Here's the front of the box. It has picture of the radio and the uh, carry pouch. That's what they call it. On this side of the box, you have your frequencies AM 520 to 1710, FMA 7108, shortwave 1, 5.9 to 10 MHz, and shortwave 2, 11.6 to 18 megahertz. You also have your dimensions 4.3 by 2.7 by 0.47 inches. Includes Elite Mini Radio Owner's Manual and Carry Pouch. And then here's the back of the box. Tune into your favorite local stations or listen to news and music from across the globe with AM, FM, and shortwave bands. You can hear just about everything your ears desire. And then here are the features. You can pause and look at those. And let me see if it'll focus by uh, positioning it here. You can pause and read that. Hopefully it came out good. And then on this side of the package, there's more features. Receives AM, FM band, receive shortwave band, digital tuner, alarm clock, and headphone jack. The bottom of the box, um, you have the company name and website, etoncorp.com. Some information here and a barcode right here. And then top of the box, just Elite Mini Eton logos. So what I'm going to do right now is take out the contents, including the radio, which is a little hard to take out, so you got to be careful here. Here's your owner's manual here in three languages. You have English, French, and then Spanish right here. So it's in three languages. Carry pouch here. You may think it's leather, but it's not actually leather. Uh, probably some imitation material here. I had to break it in though in order for this radio to fit because it was very tight at first. So make sure you break this in before you try out the cover. And then it comes in this plastic here. I'll throw that to the side. And here's the radio. Now, excuse me a second because it is a fingerprint magnet. So, here it is. I'm going to bring it just a little closer so I don't get that all light up there. And I'm going to read you uh, dimensions. Yes, I didn't even realize that the cover had the dimensions, but here's what I measured. Uh, two and three quarters inches in length, four and a quarter inches in height, and five eighths of an inch in depth. Thirteen and a quarter inch antenna, a two inch speaker grill, and a one and a half inch speaker, at least from this angle. That's why I was able to measure it. And... There is that. Here's the front of the radio. You have your power sleep button here. Your lock button here. You press 
and hold to lock and unlock the radio. Then you have your alarm button. Oh, now I got it. You press alarm and uh, to undo it, you press alarm again. You have your time button to set the time. While you set the time, then you can set it by minute and hour. Also, while the radio's off, you can press and hold and set either 9 or 10 kilohertz stepping on the medium wave. Your display button here. In three settings, you have dim, little brighter, and then bright. It's not very bright, but that's okay because... I'm mainly going to use this indoors and in the dark uh, if I decide to listen to a little local radio while I go to sleep. And then these two buttons are also used to scan up and down the radio dial. Long press you scan, short press to go by the next frequency. So that's pretty neat. I like those buttons. Uh, too bad it doesn't have memories. But, that's alright. I'm not expecting memories for a radio like this. Eton logo on the bottom here. Elite Mini here. You have your LCD display here. I think I'll just set it to all bright. Mini here. And, uh, the clock is only a 24-hour clock. I set it to UTC. So it's actually 11.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from the northeastern part of New Jersey, 031 UTC. On this side, you have your tuning wheel here. You have your DC 3-volt jack here. If you able to get a 3-volt adapter with the right polarity, you can plug it in. You can operate it that way. Or you can operate it with two AAA batteries. You have your volume wheel here as well. And then on the back of the radio, some screws in the back. More information on Eton, including their Part 15 information, FCC information. It says designed and developed by Eton USA, etoncorp.com. Assembled in China, so yeah, it was made in China. Battery 3 volts or AAA times 2, DC 3 volts, and you have a battery door. It's not captured, but it has two AA batteries, not included, of course. Polarity, um, the top battery, the positives go to the left, and the bottom battery, the positives go to the right. I have Duracell Optimum batteries here. Um, and you're going to need some good quality batteries because uh, if not, the battery life won't last very long. Unless you have uh, some decent batteries. Nothing on the bottom except a screw. On the top is your antenna, which extends to three and a quarter inches. Your headphone jack here. Headphone experience... Um. At no volume, it'll get, get a little bit of hiss, but once you put volume on it, the hiss goes away. And, of course, on this side of the radio, you have your FM, AM, shortwave, one and two switches. I'm actually going to do shortwave first, so that's what I'm going to set it to right now. And that's it for that. Nothing else I have to go over that, but... I need to do some size comparisons next. The Texan PL606, which is not much bigger, but definitely a thicker radio. And then the Eton Elite Executive, which was the last radio I reviewed. Yeah, definitely much bigger than that. I won't go in all corners. I'm just going to show you side-by-side -side comparison since that is a much bigger radio. And uh, that is it for that. And what I'm going to do next is turn it on and do some band scans.
So, there are ways to tune this radio after I put the antenna up. Turn it on. You can either tune up with the scan buttons, either single press or long press to scan to the next strongest station. Although, the thing about this is, oh, it's already got a station. Ray MRT. All right, so I am getting a station right now. I'm in my room, which is right below the attic, so if I go in the attic, I'll probably get better reception. But that's pretty good that I was able to get Rayo Marti. I think this is the same station. W.E.W.N. Van Diver, Alabama, E.W.T.N. W.R.M.I. Okeechobee, Florida, Brother Stare, or should I say the late Brother Stare. WRMI Oak, but she'll be Florida again. Not coming in too well right now. Let me get WWV, see if it's there. I doubt it. No, no WWV. WWCR in Nashville, Tennessee. Some breakthrough from WABC. Yeah, it's a little flaw with this radio. NHK World Radio from their transmitter in France. That's Japanese programming. And let me scan it one more time. Yeah, one minute you get the station, then the next minute it's gone. All right, and I think there is actually a couple of stations up there. I'm just going to take a look briefly at my Texan PL606. I think I actually did get a few upper band stations Uh let me try 11670. Yeah, pretty weak. Eleven eight fifty was another one. A little finicky the tuning. I don't think I'm getting it right now. And the other one is 13740. Was another one I scanned from my PL606. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 13740. I doubt I'm going to get 15 megahertz.
right now. I seriously doubt it, but I'll try. Yeah, not getting it. So I'm going to do one more scan, and then I'll go to FM. But yeah, we're at a we're at almost midnight, so yeah, I doubt we're going to get anything. I'm surprised I got that station on 13740. Let me see if I'll scan it one more time. There it is. And that is all for that. Um, the AM to me is workable, but sometimes it suffers that breakthrough, at least in my area, from WABC, which is a 50,000 watt station on 770. Even WBBR will break through in it once in a while, and some people might get F and bleed over. That happens to a channel I subscribe to. Um, he's from Montreal, and I know some of his radios, uh, he has trouble with FM bleed through. So, which could be a problem, either FM or AM bleed through or break through. But otherwise, um, I think it's a capable receiver. If you're away from those strong AM and FM stations, you should be able to do fine with uh, domestic or stations uh, pointed towards your country. You should be able to do okay with the shortwave. So, Shortwave is workable, it's not bad. But right now I'm going to try the FM dial. And I'll just show you how it tunes on FM. Which, by the way, which I didn't go over with the shortwave band, use the time button, you can actually cycle the bands quickly. That's a neat feature. The shortwave bands. And on FM, if you press time, you go by 1 megahertz steps. So that's a very good feature here, in my opinion, for quick tuning to make up for no memories on this radio. So, here's the FM. I'm going to have to go quick because I'm already at 17 minutes, so I'm not going to try to identify most stations on the FM scan. WALKFM, Patchogue, New York, that's about 60 miles away, so it's coming good right now. Uh, no sign of my translator from Jersey City, which is W248CG. W K X W New Jersey 101.5 Jer Trenton, New Jersey. That's over 50 miles away. So yeah, it's getting the FM stations pretty good. The UFC 261 title fight and DraftKings Sportsbook will give you 26 to 1. Unlicensed station. Here the other night, they they told him you don't have to put. Do not put these. Professional fishermen. So, so they're used. That's a common company. 
services, advocacy, support groups, mentors, and more. You know, with a lot of the restrictions being lifted, Connecticut won. And career services, CUNY can ease your college. Visit mattressfirm.com slash sale. And that is it for FM. FM, to me, is the uh, bright spot of this radio. Uh, it does a pretty good job with FM, especially if you hold the receiver. When I held the receiver, uh, somehow the reception's slightly better. But uh, it does its, does hold its own even without me holding it. But anyhow... I'll give you an FM reception report. Got 56 stations, 42 okay to good, and 14 weak signals. So it is uh, very good on FM. Now I'm going to try the AM band, and I'll show you how to tune the AM band right here. If you use the time button, it goes by 100 kilohertz stepping for fast tuning. But you can also press the buttons here, press the buttons here, and and of course I can use the tuning wheel here, but it is a bit finicky at times, so I prefer to use the buttons. That's one of the things I don't like about this radio is the finicky tuning when using this. You're better off using the buttons. So I'll go with the AM scan now. I'm just mainly going to use the scan. Now, on the AM dial, there's this auto gain control, which I sometimes find annoying at times. I'd rather it come in right away. But on weaker stations, there could be some auto gain control or slow gain on it. WMCA New York City, by the way. I can usually get Zoomer on this, but it's coming pretty weak right now. Two, 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 and we're going to continue with your calls right after the break. It's the Rita Cosby Show on 77 WABC. CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. W-H-A-S, Louisville, Kentucky. C-J-B-C, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Outs with a runner on, and Walker lost him. He walked. That was the theme. Ian ha C-H-M-L, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Airing old-time radio at 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> the media are fomenting this. They're pushing it because no matter the the, the um, is it just for nut lovers? WBZ Boston's news radio. Comfort means cozy. I'm nice WBZ cozy. Boston, Massachusetts. Big Joel, he's gonna be a buzz. <laughs> we ain't even got. WBAL, Baltimore, Maryland. WBT, Charlotte, no North Carolina.
WWVA, Wheeling, West Virginia. WHAM, Rochester, New York. WXKS, Boston, Massachusetts. WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. W-O-Y-K, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I should get a Grammy Award. Um, fasting is... W-F-E-D, Washington, D.C. W-W-K-B, Buffalo, New York. WCKY Cincinnati, Ohio. Even though vaccinations are increasing and COVID-19 restrictions have eased, San Francisco residents are still spending an average of about... Yeah, it's a little weaker at night. Trying to get WQFG 689 Jersey City. Hmm, guess not. But, that is it. Now, before I get to final thoughts, and I just bumped the camera, I'm going to give you some AM reception reports. During the day, I got 38 stations, 26 okay to good, and 12 weak signals. And... At night, I got 74 stations, 36 okay to good, and 38 weak signals. I actually got more weak stations than okay to good. So, it, it's not bad. I mean, the AM's not bad. It's that auto gain control that's the problem. And that's a problem I have with this radio. It's good for locals and strong stations, but those weak si signals, uh, they are a little bit of a pain getting. So, I have to knock it down, or knock the ring of this radio a little bit because of that. Shortwave is workable. FM does great. And AM is, um, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, to me, it's okay. I like the form factor. I'm getting into final thoughts. As a nice form factor to it, um, you can put it in your pocket, a jacket pocket, or a shirt pocket, and all that. Headphones did not do much with reception, but that's okay. It does a little bit. You really need the antenna to get the best reception. But it does okay with headphones as well. What I don't like about it is the auto gain control on the AM. That's a bit annoying, but otherwise, it's a decent average radio as far as the rain is concerned. I'll give it a 6 out of 10, which is 3 stars. So, pretty average overall, though the FM is good. I will say that. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like my channel, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a good week, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.